What if I told you that you might not be getting credit for all of your hard work on your website, all that expertise you've built up, all those online mentions you've gotten, and all those experienced authors that you work with? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make sure Google knows all of these things about you, your brand, and your website. We're talking about schema, which clearly signals to search engines the who and what behind your content, authors, and stakeholders. I'm going to show you which key schema markup you want to use so you can connect all the dots for Google. Okay, so for starters, what is schema? Schema.org, often just called schema, is like a dictionary for search engines. It's a set of specific vocabularies that you can add to your HTML to make your website's content more understandable and easily digestible for search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Think of it this way. If your website was a book, schema would be like the index that helps readers, or in this case, search engines, find and understand what each chapter or web page is about quickly and easily. So how does schema work? Schema is implemented using micro data tags in your HTML. These tags guide search engines through your content, highlighting the important parts. For instance, if you're discussing a book, schema tags can tell search engines, the book's author, uh, the name, more details about the book. This enhanced understanding helps search engines display your content more effectively in the results. All right, so why does schema matter, especially as it relates to SEO? Well, number one, it creates a better understanding for search engines. Schema helps search engines understand your content better, and this deeper understanding can lead to better matching of your pages to specific search queries. Number two, rich snippets. With schema, your search results can display even more than just the basic title and description. Think of ratings, publication dates, or even cooking times for recipes. These are called rich snippets, and they can significantly increase your click-through rates from the SERPs. Number three, EEAT signals. So schema can help contribute to demonstrating things like experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness, which are crucial for your site's credibility. So a quick word on structured data versus schema. So structured data is the umbrella term, organizing data in a way that search engines can understand. Schema.org is part of this, providing specific definitions for tags. Uh, microdata is one form of implementing structured data, and schema is probably the most comprehensive vocabulary for it. All right, now that we understand what schema is all about, let's talk specifics in terms of what schema is crucial to have implemented on your website. I've broken this into three kind of main buckets. Number one, essential domain schema. Number two, essential people schema or person schema. And number three would be helpful connecting schema. Let's explore each one in more detail. So first we have the essential domain schema. And inside of this, I consider there to be three critical types of schema that essentially every website needs. Number one, organization schema. Number two, about page schema. And number three, contact page schema. Now, depending on your specific website and the niche that you are in and the space that you occupy, there are undoubtedly many others. For example, there's local business schema and specific to your exact industry. If you're a veterinarian, there is a veterinarian schema that you would want to add to your website. If you are a review website, then undoubtedly you'd probably want many of the pages on your site to have review schema to signify to Google that this is a review and that has a lot of added benefits like uh, allowing for review stars. There's also specific schemas like how-to schema and FAQ schema that have been depreciated by Google, but then also kind of reappear in the SERPs from time to time. And so you might want to make a decision about whether you want to add those or not to specific pages. But I digress. Let's get back into it. And let's start with organization schema. Organization schema provides all the details about your website from a, a business perspective. This helps Google understand who and what entity your site represents. Details here would include things like company name, website URL, contact information such as email, address, phone number, business hours, services offered, even your company mission. About page schema, as the name suggests, highlights your key about us page to Google. This page shares stuff like your brand story, your value proposition, uh, basically crucial elements for visitors and search engines to get to know the about portion of your website. Properly marking this up with about page schema signals the importance of the content here and helps Google better understand where they can find this information. 
Lastly, contact page schema does basically the same thing as about page schema, but for your contact page specifically. Ensuring Google knows exactly where to find your contact details, again, signals some legitimacy and trustworthiness as a business, but also helps them to connect the dots with how people can get in touch with you. They actually pull some of this information into various results, as you'll see. So in summary, organization, about page, and contact page schema should be a baseline schema that every site implements. You'll want to have organization schema site wide and so it'll exist on every single page of your website whereas about page schema and contact page schema will be specific to those pages alone don't forget that it, for your specific website you might need additional schemas you might benefit from that but that would be specific to things like your industry and the type of page that you're creating okay number two essential people or person schema now we can move up from a level of purely domain related schema items to schema related specifically to actual people and authors on your site. After all, great content comes from experts in their field. So every author on your site should have an author page. This is native in WordPress. So for most websites, this page probably already exists for every author that you've already created. Chances are though, it's just a stock author page full of a long list of every article that they've ever written. You want to bulk up every author page with information about the author, social profiles, and anything else you think would help. I'll show you a few examples here in a bit. Once you have those author pages fully loaded, it's time to add the correct schema to them. With profile page schema, you can share broader details and credentials about a writer or content creator, their bio, or background, social profiles, credentials, area of expertise, etc. This provides further depth and context around the knowledge that your authors hold, which reflects positively on your site's overall authority and trust. So for every author on your site, make sure to add profile page schema and include some of the main features that are offered in it, like name, job title, description, knows about, works for, uh, include their headshot and the, the link to their image uh, headshot. So often referred to as author schema, this structured data helps Google better understand exactly who is writing for your site and what expertise they have. Inside of profile page schema, you'll see person schema, so it's easy to get those confused. I know I have in the past. Let's take an example from the Spruce, a popular website. On their about page, we see them include a section where they list key authors on the website. Using Barbara as an example, you can see they feature all the key details about the author with a link out to their specific author page. And then when we click on that, we can see a list of the tenants of a really good author page. But what's important for this specific conversation is that it is this page, the author's specific bio page where we see profile page schema located. And there's a lot you can add to this schema. With Barbara from the Spruce, we can see, for example, her home location and where she went to college. We can also see what she's an expert in with a knows about element. In another example, we have Claudia Fisher from realsimple.com. And here we can learn her Instagram handle, which is connecting a social profile. And we can also see that she's located in New York. Okay, so now that we've talked through having organization schema for your entire website, an about page and proper about page schema, and then individual authors listed and profile page schema for them, it's probably time I should share my preferred structure for a typical website as it relates to these topics. You can see that we have the home page linking somewhere to the about page, whether that's in the navigational menu, in the actual context. We have a fully built out about page. And then the about page links to an about the team page. Now, again, you can go straight to author pages, but I like to have an about the team page where we then feature key level elements about each of the authors. And inside of each of those authors that we feature, we link to their author page. And then we've already gone through what's important about a key author page. With this in mind, let's talk about going even further to make sure Google can connect all the dots. And that's with same as schema. To introduce same as schema, let me tell you a quick story. For most of the past two decades, I have owned the SERPs for my name, Jared Bauman. Google knew who I was. I had owned a photography studio, an editing company. I had just started a marketing agency. I hosted a podcast, etc. Then some guy with the exact same name as me ran for office in the state of Kentucky. Here's what the SERPs looked like late in 2023. Now, at the end of the day, my example is pretty trivial in the real world. Anyone searching for me, the Jared Bauman who does SEO and marketing, will know to move past the government official until they see me. But that's not really the point. Google can't be expected to do that. They're a bot. How, do, how does Google know me from the state representative? Is it from my active Twitter profile, my expertise as the host of a popular podcast, my previous companies, my authorship on major SEO publications, all of this? Who's getting the credit for that? Me or the Kentucky representative? These questions can create a bit of a chain reaction too. If I can't be sure that 
me is getting credit for all that I do, how about all my entities? Tool and Creative, my marketing agency, I own that. I manage it. Does Google know that, that I own it? Or do they think that a U.S. government official runs an SEO agency? Let's say that you own a website and you're active in your niche. You're published. You have expert authors. Are you getting proper credit for all this? Google's EEAT, their quality rater guidelines, the helpful content update, it's never been more important to ensure that Google knows these things. Now, like I said, I would imagine that they can tell the difference in a lot of these nuances and circumstances. But at the end of the day, why leave it to chance? That's where same as schema comes into play. Okay, so what is same as schema? Think of same as schema as your digital resume. It's a specific type of structured data that acts like a series of digital signposts, pointing search engines to all the different places that you or maybe an author on your website exist online. It's kind of like saying, hey, Google, this is me. This is me on Twitter. This is me on Facebook, LinkedIn. That's my other website. I've been an author on there. The beauty of Same As Schema is in its ability to connect the dots between your website and your various online profiles and other mentions. Whether it's your social media accounts, business directories, or other relevant pages, Same As Schema links them all to your site. The linkage is crucial because it helps search engines better understand all these profiles and the fact that they represent the same entity or person. So unless you're a prominent figurehead, pop star, pro athlete, government official, <laughs> the big Google might not know much about you. In today's online world, that can be a big deal. So further than maybe connecting dots that already exist, unless you have a personal Wikipedia page, chances are that Google could stand to learn more about who you are, what you're an expert in, where you've been featured, etc. The same is true for your website. Want to stand out and not look like a niche site online? First, you need your website featured in prominent places and mentioned in many places online. This isn't really a video on how to do that. Then using same as schema can help connect all those dots for Google. Okay, I wanna dive a bit deeper here because I think there is room for several differing approaches. For the sake of clarity, I'm gonna focus on using same as schema to substantiate both your company and your individual expertise. So in that vein, I want to add same as schema to my entire website for my company, social profiles, prominent profiles, and any other trust validating sources. I also want to add same as schema to my author pages for those particular people and their similar items. So I've seen debate about whether same as schema is still relevant after Google expanded profile page schema in November of 2023. I'm still adding things like social profiles to my same as schema, but I'll admit that I'm kind of paying attention to how that plays out going forward. Speaking of, choose your profiles that you add wisely. When it comes to same as, think quality over quantity. Link to profiles that genu genuinely represent your brand and contribute to its authority. This isn't really the time to link to that Twitter account you haven't posted to since 2012. So instead, focus on active, relevant profiles that enhance your brand's credibility. Here's a quick punch list to consider. Twitter or X, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest. You could also make a case for TikTok. You'll see in my examples next that you can also add prominent places that you are featured or other places that you have noteworthy work published. Okay, this is often looked at best through real world examples. So let's start by looking at some bigger companies and their same as schema. Remember the train of thought I'm running with is that you wanna add same as schema to the entire website for your company, social accounts, prominent profiles, and important trust validating sources, and then the same for authors. Let's start by looking at a dot dash Meredith company, very well fit. As it turns out, they have their same as schema dialed in pretty well. For their company, same as schema, we see that they have same as schema set up for all of their social profiles. They also link out to their Wikipedia page, and you'll see that they feature social links to LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Flipboard, and TikTok. We see additional schema for their parent company, dot dash Meredith. So they are doing a tremendous job of telling Google all about the parent company, which is dot dash Meredith, and the website brand very well fit. I then went on to pull the author page of a random author that I found on the site. We'll call her April because I don't wanna butcher her last name. We can see that they are linking to April's LinkedIn page in the same as schema. So there it is in a basic form. April is an author for very well fit and she's also a real person who has a LinkedIn account as well. Google can verify and validate that she's a real person from her LinkedIn account and then give her that author credit on very well fit. Very Well Fit is a website entity in and of itself owned by parent company dot dash Meredith, all laid out very clearly for Google to see and understand. 
Okay, sticking with dot dash Meredith, let's look at brides.com. I had a recent consulting call that brought them up, and it turns out they're also a good example. For company same as schema, just like in the previous example, we see a very well organized same as schema structure for both the parent company dot dash Meredith and the website brides.com. Once again, Brides nails their author page, same as schema. We can look at a random author that I pulled, Blair Donovan. In Blair's example, we see that linking in same as schema to Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and her personal author website. Now, her website is nothing fancy, but it sure appears to be real. Clicking on the writing link, I can see all the publications that she writes for. Now, how's that for some EEAT? And an about page on this personal site with links to all those very same profiles. And if you're wondering and you want to click through to some of those social, social profiles, she looks pretty legit. 500 plus connections on LinkedIn. So we're starting to see a bit of a masterclass. So you can see in connecting all the dots, uh, the same as schema on brides.com, links to Blair Donovan social profiles, and also her personal website. On her personal website, we can see links to those very same social profiles. So can Google connect all of these dots on their own? Perhaps. I'm sure they're connecting a lot of those dots, but again, why not connect them for them? Same as schema here for the win. Okay, let's do a quick recap of this video. So you have a website, which is in essence a business. No matter how small of a niche site it is or how big of an authority it is, it's basically still a business. And this means you should treat it like a business. Businesses have customers they service. These customers have ways of communicating with the business. Businesses have hours of operation to some degree. They have email addresses, phone numbers. They have people who work at the company. And as such, we can use schema like organization schema to tell Google all about our business, which is our website in many cases. We can identify the important pages for them, such as about page and the contact page. We can also tell Google important information like our address, our phone number, our email address, our hours of operation, et cetera. And you can and should use schema to convey all these things. Now your people, let's look at a popular team like the New York Yankees. They're a baseball team that plays in Major League Baseball. And this team is made up of a collection of players, many of which are also very popular for their own right. The Yankees are popular because they have a deep history as a franchise. They've won a lot of championships. They're based in a really big and popular city, New York City. They have lots of fans. Individual Yankee players, though, are also very popular, too, but many ways for their own reasons. They have their own individual stories. They come from their own unique colleges and high schools. They won their own unique championships previously, perhaps at a different baseball team. The Yankees are better when they have better players. Now, let's draw the analogy to your website. Your website, your business, and the people associated with it, they operate in much the same way. The people, or the authors, associated with your website have their own unique background and expertise. As such, we use profile page and person schema to tell Google all about each person. We validate their history and their expertise through this schema, sharing things like social media accounts and authorship on other places. Same as schema helps here too, by adding authoritative profiles and online features, we can further distinguish the individuals and businesses in Google's eyes. From a high level, it might look a lot like this. There's more to it, obviously, but hopefully this visual helps to paint a bit of a broader picture. There are so many different ways we can gain authority and trust in Google's eyes. The business can provide it, but so can the authors that make up your website. And it's important to focus on building authority and trust for your website. Links, mentions, these are all great contributors to these factors, as we know. And this isn't a video on how to get authority and trust your website. But oftentimes we don't do a good job connecting the dots so that Google and other search engines can see where we've built this authority and this trust. Now, again, in recap, schema is not a silver bullet. It's not going to replace getting authority and trust, building credibility online. You have to do that on its own, but schema can help make sure that Google and other search engines see that authority and that trust that you've built. Sometimes we don't bother connecting the dots from our business to our authors, and we don't lean on author authority and trust, or perhaps even worse, we have authorities as authors, but we don't connect the dots clearly enough for Google to clearly distinguish everything. So again, in conclusion, schema helps to connect the dots, not create the dots. Do this properly, and you'll demonstrate authority and trust signals through the structured data on your site. And this can certainly give you an edge when it comes to search visibility and when it comes to rankings. Okay, thanks so much for watching my deep dive on schema markup. Let me know if you have any other questions. See you next time.